Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be setting up Metasploitable 2. So if you guys are ready for the journey, let's jump onto the desktop and have some fun. All right, folks, so if we just go out to Google and we put in Metasploitable 2, you will see the results. Once you click on Metasploitable 2, you will see Rapid7, it'll give you what this is. Let's actually open that up really quick. So let's open this up and showcase what is Metasploitable 2 if you guys haven't heard of it, right? A test environment provides a secure place to perform penetration testing and security research. We all know that, right? We never want to test something on our production network or on anyone's information or infrastructure that we don't have permission to do so. So for your test environment, you need a Metasploit instance which you can use a vulnerable target such as Metasploitable 2. So this is gonna showcase where to download it, and we can go ahead and right click and open up the sourceforce.net, okay? When you download it, you will get the file in a zip format. Let me go ahead and show, show you guys that. I have it right here. So once you get the download, you need to right click on it and extract it. So let's go ahead and do that now. I want to go ahead and extract that and that's right in my virtual machines directory so I can leave everything a little more organized and I know where things are. So once you download it, I copied it over to the virtual machines folder and I extracted it. So once we extract it, we can see inside here we have multiple files. Do not click on the file here because it will not work. We will have to set up a virtual machine and attach that later. So hang tight. So let's minimize all this stuff. Let's open up our VMware workstation. And let's go ahead and go to file, new virtual machine. We're gonna go ahead and st stick on typical, recommended. I wanna say, I wanna install this later, or this operating system later. I wanna do Linux, that's fine for me. Go ahead and go to next. I wanna make it ms2-youtube. Okay, that's fine for me. 20 gigs is perfectly fine. And just go ahead and hit finished. Once your VM is set up, we need to, I'm gonna OCD me, I wanna go ahead and move that over. Once we started, before we started up, we have to go to settings. The reason being is because the hard drive that we have here is not the Metasploitable 2 hard drive. So we need to remove this, okay? So let's go ahead and hit add. When you hit add, the hardware type, you need to click on hard drive. Go to next. SCSI is totally fine for me. Go to next and select the middle option. Use an existing hard uh, virtual disk, right? So the existing disk file, we need to browse to wherever we just extracted that Metasploitable 2. In my case, it's in virtual machines, Metasploitable 2, and right here, okay? So let's go ahead and hit finished. Yep, keep existing format, that's fine for me. And just go ahead and hit okay. Okay, so it's on NAT and it's four gigs. That's totally, that's actually a lot. You know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and double click on this and just add to two gigs, because even one gig, I don't even need that much. Because it's a vulnerable system and it doesn't need many resources. So let's start this bad boy up. So, now we're, gonna ha now we're gonna have two machines in our hacking environment. The first one you always need to install is Kali Linux because that's your attacker machine that you're gonna utilize in this whole entire lab. The next one I always do is Metasploitable 2 because it's a little more troublesome, as you can see. And let's see, you cannot, okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and hit yes there. As you can see, it always gives, sometimes it's a little troublesome. And then the next one we'll do is Windows Server. And then we'll join that or create a domain controller. And then we will install Windows 10 and join that Windows 10 system to our Windows Server 2022 domain. And once we have all four machines, if you want to install more clients, install firewalls, install SIM solutions, that's all up to you. That's out of the scope for this series. But here we go. We have a login. Default, the login is MSF admin and MSF admin. Once we are there, we can do an if config and we have our IP address of 
192.168.100.137. Let's see if we can hit that from our Cali machine. Actually, I have a machine right here. So let before we do that, let's do an if config. And we are, let me make this larger. So it's a little easier. So we're at 136, right? So now let's go ahead and ping 192, whoops. Let me go ahead and put my numlock on. Ping 192.168.100.137. And here we go. We are pinging, we are in good shape. So that's the way you set up Metasploitable 2 in this environment. Stay tuned until the next one and have an awesome day.